This space is a tribute to the Portuguese navigators who, in the 15th and 16th centuries, journeyed into previously unnavigated oceans in search of new routes and undiscovered lands. By opening new routes to the south, the Portuguese laid waste to the legends that abounded of the dark and mysterious sea, according to which the deep waters around the Cape would swallow up all ships and their crew who dared to sail there. 54 years later, as explorer Baltimo Diaz drew his armada closer to the Cape of Storms, a cloud of terrifying blackness formed over them in the sky, taking on the outline of a hugely powerful monstrous being. The deformed and bearded figure had an expression of threatening evil on its face, with dirty matted hair and filthy yellow teeth in its black mouth. In a booming and terrifying voice, the giant threatened the sailors who had invaded his waters, which for many long years had been his and his alone. He hated the Portuguese explorers, envying them their mobility, audacity and excellence. He prophesied that they would suffer disasters, shipwrecks and loss of human life if they dared to pass beyond the Cape of Storms. This mythical being, Adamastor, was created by Portuguese poet Luís de Camões in his epic poem of the Portuguese discoveries, Os Luídas, and his destruction represented the triumph of the Portuguese over the brute force of nature, as well as the mastery of the seas they earned by daring to traverse the Cape of Storms. Imaginary monsters, such as Adamastor, were not the only beings to pursue the Portuguese explorers. Pirate attack was a constant threat, especially when they were returning home, loaded with gold and spices from the coast of Guinea, Brazil and the east, as you can see in the caravel next to us. Hi there, me hearties. I'm Pirate Bill. Come a little closer. Don't be afraid. I won't bite. My favorite pastime is wallowing in boatloads of stolen treasure, such as this, even though it is well guarded by soldiers. In the 15th and 16th centuries, Portuguese navigators brought home a wide and colorful variety of treasures from the coast of Guinea, Brazil, and the East. These included spices, cinnamon, cocoa, pepper, cloves, nutmeg and coffee, as well as wheat and rice. The treasure that I like best is the shiny stuff, such as gold and jewels, pearls, diamonds, emeralds and rubies. Oh, to wallow in a shipload of treasure. You landlubbers don't know what you're missing. Goodbye, me hearties, until we meet again. Five centuries after the Portuguese had embarked on their voyages of discovery, bringing lands and trade routes to the eyes of the world, mankind began its conquests and adventures in space. Let's take a closer look at this great adventure. Russian astronaut Yuri Gagarin was the first man to orbit our planet and in 1969 American astronaut Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. It was while he was walking on the moon that he uttered the famous phrase, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. We are still in the very earliest days of the conquest of space, just as in the 15th century, enigmas, dangers and insurmountable barriers have created a gap between the dreams of mankind and the adventures that are actually possible. And just as with the navigators and Argonauts of long ago, difficulties will be overcome. The power of human tenacity, combined with increasingly sophisticated technological resources, will undoubtedly take us traveling in space, 
building colonies on other planets such as are presently only imagined in the realms of science fiction. We hope you enjoy the rest of your visit to the park, a park which is unique in Portugal. Thank you for your visit and we hope to see you again soon.